Hey there, my name is Brett McLaughlin, and I am one of the editors here at O'Reilly. I'm sitting next to David Griffiths, who we've sort of discovered is um, HTML5, web extraordinaire, JavaScript guy, Thank CSS you. guy, um, which surprisingly all falls under what we're calling HTML5, mm. right? So all this stuff comes to play, and, and I know we've both been kind of giddy about today. We're talking mm. about WebGL, and, and I kind of can't wait to let everybody see what we're building. Yeah. So talk through... 3D graphics in a web environment. 3D graphics in a web environment, yeah. Um, the thing about WebGL, WebGL is not strictly part of the HTML5 spec, but you know, throughout these videos, we're using HTML5 in a sense to kind of group up this, this whole set of very cool features mm -hmm. that are coming out in all the latest browsers. Right. And WebGL is one of those. And WebGL is, I think of all of these videos, it's the most incredible technology. Okay. It gives you the ability using HTML and JavaScript to start to program the graphics processor. Now this is the kind of stuff that um, even in the technical field there's kind of this elite group of people that are off, mm. I don't know, doing like calculus as they fall asleep and, and mm. take naps and staying up all night doing weird complex modeling. Con convince me as a web guy, as a programmer guy, mm. that WebGL is for me, that I should pay attention and not leave those people to do this sort of thing. I, I think with WebGL, the best argument in its favor is simply to look at the results. Mm. Um, there is always going to be some level of math involved. Mm -hmm. The good news is that with WebGL, you can actually get by by kind of, you know, Googling uh, for a set of shaders, which are these okay. kind of pieces of code that generate the pixels on the screen. Okay. And there are other pieces of math that you're going to need in the page, but they're usually going to be very similar. So you can stitch together your first application right. and then you start to play with it and start to modify some of those things to, to find out how it all works. To get rather stunning effects. You can get amazing effects with, with WebGL. Yeah. Well, I want to see them. Let's take a look at what we're okay. building today. Okay, so... Uh, Everyone else isn't getting to see your screen yet, but I've got it out of the corner of my eye, so I'm already happy. I mean, this is mm -hmm. kind of the, um, especially the open GL and graphic stuff, where I've kind of had in my mind as the day I start caring about web pages again. You know, I mean, yeah. with the iPad and phones, most of what's cool to me is not the web stuff. Yeah. And even even the, oh, everything can be a web app. I've kind of just gone, have you seen those web apps, you know, I don't know. A, a lot of web applications so far have been the kind of uh, more lightweight, cut down versions yes. of things. Yes. It, you know, that there's always been this feeling that kind of real programmers work on yes. something else like desktop applications right. and things. Right, But I'm looking at this, and this is an HTML5 app using mm -hmm. OpenGL. Yeah. And we can, I mean, this is the solar system. We've got rotating planets, and you can, you can move around in this yeah, thing, Yeah, we can right? move between them. We can actually fly the camera from one planet to the next. Um, I mean, see, this doesn't even, f this is redefining what I think of as the web page. And, yeah. and like I said, it makes me want to go back and, and start writing HTML and writing Absolutely. JavaScript a yeah. lot more than I do now. And these things, I mean, you can now do really quite advanced programming inside a web page. You know, you can you can very quickly. <laughs> They're just not phrases you would have heard even a year ago. No, you know? absolutely advanced not. Programming web That's pages. It. JavaScript used to be for kind of you know setting the focus in yeah. a particular field yeah. or or something like that, or you know doing a few little effects that maybe move a few right. elements around the screen. But you know, with a with an application like this, you're calculating millions of pixels, oh you know, gosh. tens of times a second, you're probably right. doing hundreds of millions of individual mathematical calculations. And the way you're starting this is by writing some JavaScript. And um, we're building this entire application from scratch from today. From scratch, we are. And yeah, this isn't an 18-hour <laughs> marathon. No, I think it's probably going to take us, what, a, a couple of hours at most? Yeah, so it's, wow. we're going to go from basically nothing yep. to this application. All right, let's get to work. Okay. 